these are really getting shorter and shorter. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop right into this. So the first challenge in the battle pass is to get 15 KOs with Greatsword. In my honest opinion, all of the Greatsword legends are pretty decent. Magyar, on the other hand, is a little bit lackluster. I don't think he's as good as Jayun. He's definitely not nearly as good as Mako. Uh, Sig-wise, weapon combo, kind of meh. But when it comes down to Jayun and Mako, both of them have the same uh, base attack and defense. But Sig-wise, they both have really strong Sigs, like Jayun's Ensig on his greatsword is is really good. Side Sig on stage hits really hard. It has a massive hitbox. Down Sig is uh, not that good. It can hit somewhat stacked, so it's kind of decent for that uh, as a stacked option because his other Sigs aren't stacked, but it is kind of slow. And other than that, it's just not really a very good sig unless you gravity cancel all stage you get the aerial version but his other two sigs are very good mako's great sword sigs her end sig is an okay sig it can spike from like center stage her side sig pretty good has a lot of range can cover the entire stage you can dash impulse off the stage with it and carry all the way to the blast zone um just normally using it like you can go all the way to the blast zone just riding the wave that's not even counting hitting anybody you can use it to uh, recover horizontally while also having a hitbox and uh, an elevated hurtbox her down sig is is insanely good it's actually honestly like probably too good in my opinion so Mako's a good pick for this challenge and Jayon like I said as well is also just a a good pick because his sigs are pretty strong and he has sword which sword is a, a very good weapon right now. But Mako also has guitars, which is also a good weapon. So they both have great sword and then very fast, up close, uh, string heavy weapons. So both of these characters are very good picks, but again, Magyar, not so much. The next one is cannon light attack damage. This one, just like all the light attack damage challenges, you can just go into free for all and play that weapon. Katara's heavy attack damage, uh, this is another one that you can really just play any Qatar legend and just go into free for all and use a lot of SIGs, really. Caspian is probably by far one of the better Qatar legends to pick because this dude has, well, he has that base 7, but you can get it up to 8. I recommend Caspian because his SIGs are really good and he has a lot of damage. Or Queen Nai, her SIGs are also really good and really spammable, and she has the same amount of damage. The next challenge is to win matches as legends who have ties to, I'm just going to say Batavia. I don't know how you pronounce that that word. And the characters that you can play as in order to complete the challenge are Caspian. Magyar as well is also connected to the Batavia. Onyx. And of course Volkov, he is actually the prince if I'm not mistaken. So all those legends can be used for that challenge in case you didn't know what legends to use. Just win a match with those legends. But like the previous challenge needing Qatar heavy attack damage, playing Caspian is also going to help you get both of those challenges done at the same time. As well as Magyar, but like I said, Magyar is not a very, uh, very good pick for the Greatsword challenge in my opinion. So it's, it's best to just uh, stick with Caspian if you're trying to double up on the challenge. You can also use Onyx as well because she has cannon and she also completes the challenge as well if you win. Her damage is okay, it's halfway, so she's not a she's not a very bad pick. Her sigs are kind of good as well, so she's a good legend to play in general. The next challenge is going to be pretty hard and it's a good thing I'm in training mode. Hopefully I don't choke this. The next challenge is to catch gadgets that are thrown by opponents. You only need to do it once. So the way you do this, you can even go into training mode and practice this, there is an option. So you can go into here and practice catching the bombs and stuff. The best tip that I can give you for doing this is to just time it as closely with uh, your body as possible and then um, press the catch button.
So you could just sit in here, practice this, mess around with it a little bit, get a high score, and uh, once you get really good at it, you can go into a match and try to do this. You only need to do it once, like I said. So you don't have to worry too much about uh, having to do this too much. The next challenge is to be the first player to pick up a weapon. You have to do this 20 times. Again, an easy challenge, self-explanatory. And the final challenge is, just like the final challenge of last week, is to slide charge or gravity cancel uh, a signature, but this time, for this week, it's a side sig. So if you don't know how to slide charge or gravity cancel, just watch my previous guide. I detail that in the end of the video for that final challenge. So basically you have to do that again this week the exact same amount of times but this time doing a side sig instead of a down sig. If this guide did help you be sure to check out my other ones in case you need help with those weekly challenges as well as all my other videos in case you enjoy them and I'll see you guys in the next one.